always like in the morning uh, what you will start with the stand up and the stand up you would be answering just a few questions so the first thing is just of course you can say anything that you are struggling so that's kind of you can highlight uh, if there is anything that you know an issue that you noticed a recommendation suggestion anything you can say but the most important elements you would uh, we want you to say is that okay how was yesterday what did you do yesterday and what are you planning to do today and if there are any stoppers uh, like or if there is any anything that's blocking you it could be conceptual technical uh, or um, anything related right so normally we would basically ask, receive like you can actually type uh, your name like if you want to go next so let's start it with volunteers like who wants to start uh, the morning update as i said you can just only say how was you you know how was yesterday what did you do what did you manage to do okay so we have suggestion so and then also you can tell us you know how's your plan what is your plan for today so with that let me start with uh Ola Demi. um hi good morning everybody morning um so yesterday i i was able to work on the um on the on the cleaning and the extraction was however i noticed that because i was pushing from um from cool lab so it wasn't um, it wasn't pushing very well so i had to try to do it again and push from vs code so when i tried pushing from vs code because you know i already have a um a branch for fixed bug so when i'm not trying to push back to vs code I, it's pushing through remotes origin then fixed bugs so i wasn't i didn't merge that to the to the main um, to the main branch so i'm trying to see if i can um you know re re push it again or if i can um you know still try to work on the on the previous branch instead of you know having a new branch so that's about yesterday i think i think about the code i was able to you know work work on it to an extent so i think that's that's also fine and um and well yeah till you could help me go through it and we'll know then today let's see I'm trying to work on the career on the career um projects and see what i can see what i can come up with i guess that'll be fun yeah awesome. so, I th I think so no blockers for, for now i was well i had i had a little but i found a way to go past this using this um using this get method so i think i think um i, I think none no, none for now wonderful awesome okay so data science algorithm with uh, a little bit extended so you know who you are um but sorry one one, one last thing yeah. it, um, yeah. So I have, a, I have two two branches. Is it okay if I merge the other one or if I um? Yeah, I think it's fine. We will see the you know, the the comments and stuff. So yeah, you oh, can okay. copy, you can merge. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank yeah. you for thank you for the opportunity. Uh, I have really uh, I've been going through the code and uh, we, I was able to. Uh, get the code, clone it, a uh, fork the repo, clone the code, and to begin to work on it. And um, so far, so good. Uh, I've really liked the tasks that were put up over there. Uh, they were challenging to their own uh, perspective. And there was uh, some few things that I wanted to, to comment about concerning yesterday's uh, work. Uh, so in the file size, like uh, I, something that I realized that we, when you are extracting the data, if you extract the data into that particular repo, you won't be able to push the code to the to online because the repo is, I mean, the, the, the file is quite huge. So just maybe a couple of advice to the, the fellow programmers is that you can pull, you can zip and zip the you can unzip the file outside of that particular directory so that you can be able to push it easily 
and you won't have any problems. Then another thing I realized was uh, in the reading of, there was that function called the read JSON. Uh, the read JSON, I looked at it and I was wondering, uh, wouldn't it have been easier uh, to have worked on the read JSON inside uh, just to initialize by adding the particular JSON link so that you can be able to download that, you can be able to access the data and run uh, the particular, whatever that you wanted to, the, the particular extraction of the tweets and then the cleaning of the tweets. Uh, so uh, for me, I, what I did is uh, I just put inside the, the particular extracting of tweets, the read JSON so that I could be able to easily work with it uh, throughout the extracting and the cleaning of the tweets. Yeah, but otherwise uh, I enjoyed the tasks and I'm looking forward to day one. Wonderful. Okay. Great. So we have, and in principle, so also just for data science, there is no blocker from your side. Everything is going smoothly. Yeah, everything is going smoothly. Wonderful. Okay. Inyam. Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, uh, okay. To give you a review of my yesterday, uh, it was quite uh, challenging, but uh, it wasn't. Uh, it hasn't. It, it has nothing to do with uh, code or uh, the tasks. But <laughs> I was having a very difficult time setting up uh, the environment for some reason. My Anaconda was not uh, properly running the scripts, <laughs> so that's where I, took me a lot of time to adjust. But today I have set up everything and. I'm good to go. I'm currently uh, preparing a GitHub project so that uh, my tasks can, can go smoothly and uh, uh, in an unorganized manner. Wonderful. Great. So just for some of you who probably uh, don't know that much about GitHub projects or GitHub issues, it's a way of like organizing planning. You know, it's like, so you, you can plan your whole week actually in GitHub projects, kind of, it gives you some kind of, if you know Trello, like a Trello type of board, or if you know Sprint, it's kind of, it gives you like card-based planning. So you can say like, okay, these are the things that I want to do. And then you may, you may have a column called to do, uh, or, and then another card called doing, and another card called, for example, done. So you can kind of plan, you know, just the days and the dates, you can put deadlines for yourself. So this is a way of planning in around you know code development. Um, so you just you can also uh, look into that. Great, thanks, Biniam. So Rafa, I'm, I'm sorry. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh, la last night, uh, I think uh, there was uh, one task that was released uh, late, uh, which was a LinkedIn uh, page. It has to do with uh, uh, posting your my LinkedIn page, but. Uh, uh, for those of us who missed that, uh, is there a way to resubmit today or? Uh... Yeah, so the career team, Arun or anyone else? Do we have from the career team? Uh, maybe no one, is, maybe they are there. But they didn't get a question where right? but I think um as I talked to Arun the, the due date is Sorry, the, the which task time. is that? It's the say the LinkedIn uh profile, that's what I heard. I don't think we have any such task. Let me check it. Uh... Yeah, you you can ask on Slack, but I don't think we have any such task. Okay. Great. Okay, so then we can continue. So, uh, yeah, it was me. So, yeah, I was just checking. So, Rafa, yeah, go on. Yeah, so can you hear me? Yes, we do hear you. So, first of all, I really uh, would like to thank you so much for the effort that you are doing because, you know, 
as yesterday, I've started this program. I never expected to have all of this in one day, you know. And uh, the idea that I've never used GitHub before or any of that, I know a little bit of coding and Python, of course, but yeah. Uh, to know all of that in just one day, it was really amazing. And yeah, I mean, the tutors, like Anastasia, they were really supporting. And uh, so it's just like an appreciation for the last day. And yeah, I'm so excited to, to continue in this week. So that's it. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thanks for the good word, Rafa. And is there any blocker from your side? Like anything that blocks you from progress? Uh, I wouldn't say it's a blocker, but I mean, yeah, it's a little bit, uh, it was difficult to handle with the task itself, but I, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm going in progress now. Great. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. So we have Mogus. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Morris. Okay, thank you for the chance. Well, what I was doing, uh, searching for Mr. J was trying to you know, to remember some of the GitHub uh, commands I forgot, mainly some of the commands or the, the features I didn't use before, like projects and issues, because they'll help to, 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 to assign to do tasks so that I can know what, what are my priority tasks. Uh, or tasks that I have to to finish in order to successfully complete the task. But mostly what I was doing was most of the time of an a bit of, you know, checking what best practices before doing anything. So I was trying to read what are best practices of uh, doing Git uh, commits so that the, the, the commit messages are all consistent and easy to read and are very descriptive. And I come across this link. I'll, I'll share the link in chat for everyone to read. I, I found it uh, very helpful. Yeah, I, I've sent the link on the chat. Uh, so far, uh, there's no blocker on my side. I'm just trying to to beautify, you know, <laughs> to standardize my commit message and uh, so implement the functions that are not implemented uh, in in the exact data frame and the other. Uh, Python files. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you so much also for link for sharing the link. Great. I mean, it, I see really a lot of um, very positive uh, vibe here and fantastic. We all just, I just realized also in the list there are a few women. So I only see um, Margareta and probably one more, but please just also, uh, you know, raise your hand so that, you know, it's a uh, as we are diverse, like it's just diverse from everywhere as well. So Prince, next. Good morning to everybody. Good morning. Um, very grateful for the opportunity. I think uh, for me, mostly it has been a, a, a big learning experience. Uh, coming from a non-computer science background, um, I've never had the opportunity of using GitHub before. GitHub before, and yesterday was my very first. And uh, having to cram everything, research and cram everything in order to submit the assignment was a huge challenge. Uh, one that I really appreciated, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. And again, uh, the data that was provided, I think I tried uh, my hands on uh, some of the codes that were in, I think, the clean tweets uh, function, the class. And I wasn't getting some of the columns that were cited as an example in the in some of the what do you call it the methods. And I was I think I was struggling with that, but upon opening the extract the extract dot py, I saw some of the creation of the new columns in there. And I think it kind of gave me. Uh, some assurance that there's more work to be done today. So I'm, look, I'm really looking forward to that. And yeah, once again, thank you for the opportunity. Great. So also don't forget, you can always ask in the Slack, you know, 
just make it active, make it like, you know, just a place where you can help each other. So uh, you can post there as well if you have any problems. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Thank you. Abdul. Thank you. Abdul, we are, we couldn't hear you. We can't hear you now. If you are speaking, you can unmute. Okay. Uh, El Bete. Um, hello, Tim Harvey. Hi. So, uh, yesterday I've been working on uh, journey, introducing myself to the whole uh, workflow of uh how the 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 overall arranging way of uh, slack is basically is working uh, and i've been uh reaching out to different people just to talk to them and know uh their background uh in order to just uh know them better so that i can ask uh, uh questions whenever i can and i've been also uh reading and uh uh, working on some of my technical backgrounds because uh, I have not specifically been working on uh, data science. Uh, even if uh, uh, my, my although my, my background is like uh, in software development, so I have to uh, I have to read uh, a lot. So that's uh, what I've been working on uh, yesterday, and uh, I have been also working on the tasks that we uh, uh, we were working. But there is this challenge I, I, I have been facing. I, actually, that challenge is not only mine because I've been uh, looking uh, all around uh, in the Slack. So the challenge is like the, the tasks, I mean, the requirements that have been given in the tasks are not quite clear as of me, I guess, uh, because if the requirements were like very clear, uh, we uh, we wouldn't see much questions related to the tasks that have been given to us. So if you just go back to Slack and just review everything that have been uh, people uh, commenting and asking questions, it is because of uh, the requirement and that the requirement were not clear, at least for me. So uh, it made me to think that that but this training, uh, you you have, you've you've mentioning yesterday that the training is very intensive. So one of the reasons, because one of the reasons uh, why the training is very intensive is because of the requirement. It made me thought that way. So if you just provide, uh, this is just a simple suggestion. If you guys pro provide us the clear requirements that you really demand from us so it would be better for uh, people especially for people who have who have for people who has no background in software development process at all so that uh helps a lot i guess uh, so for today i am planning to uh, continue working on the remaining tasks and uh, on the working on the uh, career tasks as well so that's all about it Great. Uh, we definitely would check. Um, in principle, of course, there's always it's always hard to really specify that is clear for everyone sometimes. So that's why it's a collaborative. We hope. I mean, we definitely will check. And if there is anything that is that is what the requirement uh, when it's not clear, so we it's a good suggestion. So we will look into that. Um, but again, Absolutely. it's. But again, it's just a matter of sometimes uh, it is, I mean, so first, just we'll look into that and definitely it's good. So thank you for the suggestion. But second, sometimes it's it's also just that the provided ones, like we, we will not put every single detail there uh, just for the sake of that it is also in the work environment. You are given a certain information. It must be like enough information so that enough so I take it your suggestion to be that the, what is listed is not enough and it needs to be improved. And definitely we should go back and answer some of the questions, uh, those who are not answered. So we'll, we'll just look into that. 
but um, yeah. Uh, so. can, can, can I something? Can, can I say yeah. something? Yeah. So uh, just the, this is like to emphasis my my previous point. Uh, the first task that that was given to us is like to fix the bugs there, but uh, specifically the tasks are like uh, there is this error that raises like syntax error. I guess that is not basically. Uh, I I do not see it as a bug. But, Why not? Uh, because I I mean it's basically a bug. Uh, but uh, if you guys give us like this code boilerplate for us, that would be no, no. But I, I think that's a mis so that's where the misunderstanding. We want you to read a code, you know. Um, we want you to go through a code, to understand the code, and fix the code. So that's the the whole point. So it just is about being able to really in real life work. Something doesn't work. You have to just go and get it like where, which line, use whatever tool you have. If it is like, I don't know, you know breakpoints using some kind of um, debugging tools or by just going through uh, your own way, you have to find a strategy to basically make it work, right? And if you see really a mis mistake that is like kind of, that cannot be fixed, then that is kind of like you say like, okay, I'm gonna write my own code, right? So it is not, we're not gonna, so that's that's the actual, the actual target is that you go and read the code. And that's one of our evaluations is that will you be able to read a kind of a complex code? That was also part of a quiz. So I think that is the intentional element of it, that we give you just a code that somewhere else in the code is some syntax error, something missing, and then you are supposed to go and, and, and fix it. I don't know if that is clear. Yeah, that's no, yeah. Great. So yeah, maybe just that clarity. I think as you mentioned, maybe just that expectation. What do we expect? Again, this is you know good feedback. So we should definitely add that. Uh, making it always, of course, you know, it's good to to improve it. So it will help us also for for now and later, just to make it clear like that. So great. Thanks for the suggestion. Okay. So, but from your side, you are okay to go and you don't have other blockers, right, uh, Elbeta? Yeah, yeah, I don't have other blockers. Great, okay. So, I was thinking, so Yidadi, uh, or Yididia, sorry. Uh, yes, it's Yididia. Yeah. Uh, okay, so to give you a quick update, a status update of your survey in today's progress. Uh, so first I've submitted my fork repo of the project and then I've been trying to study the data, the economic data set, so that I can work with, the, with it comfortably. And uh, I was working on fixing the bugs in the extract data frame as well as the clean data frame modules. Uh, so today I'm trying to uh, write unit tests for the modules as well as to fully fix the bugs in, the, in those modules. I've also started working on the care task for today. Wonderful, awesome. Um, so I assume that I'm, I'm assuming after this, if you don't have any, like if you don't say it, that I assume that you don't have any blocker. Is yeah, that the case? Sure. Yeah, yes. awesome. Okay, Michael or Mikhail. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I'm Michael Tamri from Ethiopia. Uh, yesterday, uh, generally, I was I was trying to understand the project, and I was trying to ask uh, a friend this, that we are a previous alumni of the of the Tin Academy, and I was getting a clear picture of about the project, and and then the the very nice thing that I got yesterday was in the in the afternoon CBS uh, CBS session. The community building session. I was having a good communication with with some new friends. That was a great opportunity for me. And then uh, today I plan to do. Yesterday I already I already submitted the fork repo. And today uh, and also yesterday I just after getting the clear picture about the project I just I just uh, summarized my tasks by using project and issues. And then I submitted the project, and today I'm planning to work on uh, on the tasks based on my 
projects based on my project summarizations. Mm, and the blockers that I was having yesterday was uh, generally the full day, I was not having, uh, there was no light in our area. We were having a power issue. It was at night that uh, it came and it was at night that I was able to communicate with my PC. And then it was at that time that I just worked on the project and I just uh, finished uh, the issues. And yeah, everything was nice except the power issue yesterday. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Margaret. Hi, everyone. I hope everyone had a nice evening and good morning. So I raised my hand when someone, I'm, I'm not, I can't remember who, but he was asking about the assignment on LinkedIn. And I think he meant the African influencer challenge that was when you complete, when you complete it, you're supposed to post it on Twitter. Uh, okay. Yeah, so that was what I wanted to say at that time. Yeah. And I also had a question on that. So is does that have a deadline? Or uh, Anastasia, are you there? Yes, I'm here. So can you address the, think, the questions? Uh, you can uh, just take your time with the task, I think, uh, before the end of the week. Okay. You should be able to engage with the, with the task, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. And and the main thing about that is also just be able to show something that is timely and maybe relevant in your portfolio. So it's much more of a portfolio art and something exciting. Hopefully it, will, it is exciting for everyone to be able to yes. see, you know, to answer that question. So it's much more of that and complementarily it will help your thinking in the current project. Okay, thanks. Thanks. Okay, Fisaha? Yeah, uh, morning everybody, uh, greetings. Morning. I, uh, I just had a question and previously somebody just, uh, you can hear me, right? Yeah, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, the thing was when I uh, commit and push the, my repository, my local repository to Git, I had a problem uh, indicating the file is uh, exceeds a GitHub file size limit of 100 megabytes. And I thought somebody said to uh, remove the file from the repository and also add the uh, the data folder on the Git file in order for it to be excluded from any commits. Uh, I did that, it kind of worked. And another problem occurred, which said uh, the remote end hub and hung up unexpectedly and uh, it's I'm, I'm currently working on it but uh, I don't think uh, it's something uh, very how do I say it uh, I don't think I, I think it's a problem when I install my github or in a configuration thing but I just need I just need a help that's all uh, if you want, I can share my screen and you can see the yeah. the output. But but good for Sahal, like I think it's this is a good one to also just take it in um, in uh, Slack and definitely some of the tutors can can help. So if if it persists, yeah. they can have uh, a kind of a session just to ha to help fix that. So uh, uh, yeah. they are here. If JB is here, for example. JB, um, you can contact JB or Anastasia or Musa uh, or also Desmond. But you can you can directly reach the, to them as well if the problem persists and you can have a session with them, just a JMIT session uh, to fix it. Definitely don't struggle more than just you know, the next 30 minutes um, after, the, after the call. Just get it fixed um, if, if this is something. I mean, if it is about installing whatever, you definitely just may need to uninstall and install. But if you are, I, mean, I, I don't think it's. I don't think it's basically when I installed it, but it's. I think it's the configuration. Yeah, great. Because I think yeah. Just uh, reach, uh, out, uh, reach out, reach uh, out, reach out okay. to one of them, or you know the the tutors, 
uh, please uh, just get to Fasa and just uh, fix it in the next, yeah, like not more than 30 minutes. Like Thank you. As after the start. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Awesome. Thank you very okay. much. Daisy. Um, thank you very much, Yabibal. Um, I hope you can hear me. Yes, we do hear you. Yeah, okay. So, good morning, everyone. So, for yesterday, I was able to um, look into uh, the court. I was able to... It's uh, a bit of mess in my back, and I hope that's not an issue. No, it's okay. Go on. So yesterday I was able to look into the code and just try to understand the data set itself. Um, it, it, it felt like it had been thrown into the defense because I have not coded in a while. Um, and I had to relearn and refresh some coding concepts while putting into regard um, good coding practices. So I'm very grateful for this opportunity to just be able to learn on the go. Um, so I was able to work on the code and push it on GitHub. I had a few issues pushing the code on GitHub, but I was able to um, uh, resolve that. Um, I also got into a bit of learning how to write unit tests because it's the first time doing this, and that is what I will be working on today, alongside with um, alongside with the career assignment. Um, maybe my request would be not even a request, like I would want to know that if it's okay to have a running working call where if you have an issue, you can you can just join and maybe guys on the call can help you like debug or get a solution like alongside the Slack. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's a very good, we'll just discuss it. I think one of the limitations for that is we have a very limited resource, but it is something that is um, definitely good. We will we'll, we'll look into that, Daisy. Okay. So because we are running out of time. Yeah, but well, maybe I can just add. Yeah. Can I just add one thing? So Daisy, yeah. I think it's a it's an interesting point, but what, what would you hope to achieve with that? I mean, so the, the idea of the Slack group is that you can ask questions as you go and um, people can help each other. And I think the speed of interaction and the number of people you can have on a call uh, is less than you can have on the Slack group. So I think I would rather, I think the idea is more, let's get people to talk um, and ask questions and help each other. And that's, that's already happening. Yesterday, we purposely kept it relatively light uh, and for the first day, but um, yeah, I think there's confidence that everyone is starting to see that actually they can work with the tools that are there. Um, don't you don't always need someone else there? I think this this is really being thrown into the deep end, and when you start to swim, um, you can manage. So I would just I think having someone else there on a call would be nice, but it may not be necessary. And if you have questions, the Slack should satisfy many of those uh, questions. Yeah, and if it is also you know. Uh, a lot of people having the same issue. That's what usually we do. We just have like a call, just a session um, to fix that. So, yeah, great. So uh, just for the sake of, because we are running out of time, I'll only just give uh, Girmata, Stella, and I think there was one, just so that we could, we could hear more from women as well. So just Girmata and Stella. and. If and then with that, we will end. And if you have any other questions, of course, you can always uh, put it in Slack. But yeah, for, for today, we'll just finish with that. So, no matter. Sorry, I, I realized I'm probably mispronouncing your name. Yeah, you don't know. or, yeah. Marta. Marta. Yeah, I know. Me, I think uh, there is there is another one, Giramata Ke right. Kevin Kevin. Uh, okay, I don't okay. know. Or uh, but or you can you can continue. Okay, Marta, because I think Giramata don't seem to. I'm listening because most of uh, my question is raised by uh, other uh, members. That's why I'm 
keeping silent. That's why. And if it is uh, some question, I will ask on Slack. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, Giramata, do you? Yeah, go on, we can now hear you. Hello? I think, Kevin, you can go ahead. Maybe just we, we couldn't hear much from your Giramata. Um, maybe you just yeah, you can type your update, but Stella. Okay, good morning. I hope that you can hear me. Yeah, we do hear you. Uh, so I spent the better time of yesterday, uh, basically. Um, going through the code and the project and trying to understand it. And it was also my first time working on Git and GitHub. And so um, I also went through uh, basically all the issues that uh, and the conversations that the fellow trainees were having on Slack. And that really helped uh, me being able to manage. And I was finally able to clone and uh, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity and um, just encouragement to the fellow trainees to continue and keep working hard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Stella. So, yeah, let's stop here. And as we said, just, you know, this is just more, much more of like uh, contact, like uh, the morning contact of the day, but uh, Slack is there to just keep discussing and, and continue the discussion there uh, and also just uh, tutorials. So with that, let's close. So whoever is recording can stop the recording now and we will meet for the stand-up again tomorrow. Same.